824, welcome back to Breakfast Television, and we welcome back to the program parenting expert Julie Freeman-Smith to outline the concept behind No Phone Family Day and why it's important for parents and families to take part this long weekend. People are going to hear this and think that it's crazy. They may, but it's one day. Yes. It's one day, and you know what? The government gives us a day to be with our families, so why not actually connect with families? We know that when parents are in a room with their kids and anybody's holding a device, then the, the humans have suddenly become less important. Mm. And uh, we know with young children that they need to have that eye-to-eye, -eye, face to face communication so they can learn how to talk, so that they can learn how to interact, interact, and so that their brain development actually happens properly. And we know that teens are saying that they feel like they're competing with their parents' phones for their parents' love. Okay. That's not, that's not a good thing. No. Our kids need to know that we care more about them than about a device. Okay, so this goes in both directions when it comes to parents and kids using devices. Yes. There are a lot of great whys to do it. How does this work? How do you suggest that people execute No Phone Family Day? Right, so it's not all or nothing. Uh, the best thing to do is make a plan with your family ahead of that day. So don't just walk in on Monday and take all the phones out of their hands. No, make a plan for what's going to work. Your kids might have streaks. You might have something that you want to do. So it's not that you have to do it for the whole day. If you want to, great. But if not, then set aside some piece of time in the day where the phones are going to go in a box or on airplane mode, as you were suggesting, or just away, mm -hmm. so that you can be doing something as a family. Now, the YMCA ha is our partners with us in this venture, and they have a ton of programming that day. There are all sorts of things we can be doing. We could be outside with our kids. We could be inside under a blanket fort doing a board game marathon. There are all sorts of things we can do. So it's not all or nothing. It may not go perfectly, and that's okay, mm -hmm. because maybe we're not very used to interacting with each other all the time. So this is a learning process. And we have lots of information over at nophonefamilyday.com, our, our website, so you can find out things that you could do around the city that are free for you to do. And we've actually got a contest going into the month of March, 30 minutes a day for 30 days screen-free with your family, and uh, some great prizes from sponsors over there so people can register awesome. at nophonefamilyday.com. Yeah, baby steps, baby steps. Yes. If families, say for example, I mean, I'm kind of picking the teen group, but sure. you know, the ones who have high usage on their phones and you're getting kickback from yep. those teens, how do you encourage that group Dealing that it's that. important? Yeah. Well, you know, I was talking to a group of teens yesterday and their eyes lit up. like. I'm going to have time with mom and dad, and they're not going to be on their phones. Mm. Some of them didn't. Some of them rolled their eyes, but some of them were really into it. So, again, it's not about no one's allowed their devices. It's asking your kids. So, if we are going to do one or two hours, what time in the day would be good? What do we want to do with that time? How do we spend it? Getting their input so that they don't feel like it's being done to them. They might a little bit, but if it's a family decision, we do it and then you can come back to your phones. It's not like we can't function. For years, we managed without them. So for a couple of hours that day, everybody can handle it. Yeah, and Family Day, as you mentioned, is outlined as a day for family. And mm -hmm. so when everyone's sort of zombied out on their phone, maybe you're not getting the most effective spending quality time with your family. In your best case scenario, would this be something that would translate into that 30 minutes a day into March? Well, yes. Last year when we did it, this is the second annual. Last year when we did it, we had a lot of feedback from families that it was just really nice to not be worrying about that phone, to just be off doing something different and not feel like you were somebody was trying to get a hold of you all the time. And if you're with your family, then the key people who are trying to get a hold of you are already there. So mm. you don't need to worry about that. And ideally, we do it consistently and we just build that into our time. It's really about intention. When are we using our devices? And when are we not? And how are we going to clear that space in our family life? Yeah, and maybe creating a habit exactly. that starts on family day so you're not reaching for your phone and you're actually having that eye-to-eye -eye contact. Connection, yeah. Okay, again, the website for more information? Nophonefamilyday.com. Okay, happy family day to you, you and your...